Here is a diagram of the circuit. Alright, backroom labs. Alright, here is my second version of the Lynx Jewel Lamp. Uh, this coil is a lot easier to wind and a lot easier to tune. Uh, the first one that Lynx Steam came up with was this guy. Works very well, but it's very difficult to tune as I explained in my other video. This is the same type of circuit, uses the same transistor, 2N3055 the diode between base and emitter and the coil is 20 gauge magnet wire 14 turns on the primary 100 turns on the secondary on a 4 inch form um, real easy to wind okay um, to tune the circuit you would just add more of your 100 turn wire here as you can see I've got it tied together here tuned for a couple of bulbs and uh, the ferrite is is kind of neat. I'll show the effects of that here in a moment. Uh, let me get it set up and we'll get it turned on and show some amp draws and some voltage readings. I got it all wired up here. Solar power coming in. Charging batteries down underneath. And I got a little positive negative terminal here. We're at 13.2 volts and when this one idles it's in damn near micro amps the other one was pulling uh, a tenth of an amp at idle this one is uh, a lot more efficient on idle okay we'll go ahead and start up one of this one here right now let me say this first it's tuned more to run these eco smart bulbs although it'll light them all it lights the eco smarts at full brightness right now so we'll go ahead and fire these up first Oh, that's bright. And there's the one. And we are pulling a touch over half an amp. So these bulbs are rated for six watts and we're pulling what five and a half watts basically. Which is what this is supposed to do with one bulb. Now when we had the second bulb you would expect that to be twelve watts or so. And now we're only pulling eight watts. All right. Now we'll go ahead and add the Utilitech bulbs. There's three now. One are nine watts. Here's a fourth bulb. You can actually start to hear some ringing out of the transformer now. Just about an amp. So 12 watts for four bulbs. Let's turn these guys on. Now, actually, when I added that one, because of the way the circuit's tuned, the bulbs got a little bit dimmer. My amp draw also went down. Now we'll add the sixth bulb. Get down there. Okay. We got six bulbs. Pulling an amp. Now, if you notice, this one here is actually flashing a little bit. It's not tuned for those bulbs. If I turn this guy off and this guy off, now we're pulling 6 watts for these full bulb bulbs. Now, these bulbs aren't full bright. They're, I'd say, about half as bright as they should be. Now, if I go here and I remove some windings off of this my amps will go up and the bulbs should come up in intensity I have yet to do that and and get it tuned for these ones but I have tuned it for these guys and when these are on they're they're nice and bright and here in the next portion I'll show you the effects of the ferrite and what it has to do with the circuit now what I've done is I've taken the ferrite apart and you notice the little pieces of paper towel there. That is to keep this thing from squealing. Because once you put it on there, it creates a, a magnetic field. And I'm not sure exactly what the ferrite does, but it induces something in there. I'm, I'm fairly new to all this stuff, so I'm learning as I go. But uh, it does have some interesting effects. Right now, with the two EcoSmart bulbs, 
we're pulling uh, 0 0.84, 0 0.85. Now, if I add the ferrite here, I'm going to slip this on here. Okay, you hear her humming there. That's why I got the paper towel in there. It keeps it from doing that. The amp draw has went down, and the lights actually got brighter. I don't know if you can pick this up on the camera, but I'll pull it off of here. And you'll see. See the intensity difference? On, off, on, off. Okay. I've put the paper towels back into position. Without the ferrite, we're still pulling 0.85, same two lights. Now, I'll drop this on here. With the paper towels, we don't change much in amperage. But here again, you'll notice the intensity. Brighter, not as bright. Brighter, not as bright. It's not as pronounced with the paper towel in there, but it does do it does make them a little bit brighter, and every little bit counts, I guess, when you're doing this type of stuff. I have yet to figure out how in Link Steam's video when he applied his ferrite that it was nice and quiet. Maybe I gotta tune the circuit some more, maybe take some turns off of the primary, add some turns on the primary and, and tune it some more. Uh, but I just got this up and running the other night, so I figured I'd post it, and that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully I uh, I can get this one tuned. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to say. This one here, if I can get it tuned right, uh, I've seen where they've had these things running at 6 volts uh, to 9 volts, pulling, you know, 40, 50 milliamps. Uh, with the crystal batteries I have, I, I might be able to get uh, something working with those. I know somebody had posted a question on one of my videos if I could get these crystal batteries to light one of these LEDs. And I think if I get the circuit tuned good enough and uh, with some capacitors in there, I'm pretty damn sure I can get it to work. But that's where I'm headed with all this and I'll be posting updates as I experiment.